Okay, let us discuss question number 4.150. So, this is a quite good problem. So, this suggests variation of a speed of sound with temperature. So, this question asks, how long will it take the sound wave to travel the distance L between point A and B? So, we have point A here. I think most of you have done this problem. And there is a point B. And the distance between these two points is L. So between A and B this distance is L. If the air temperature varies linearly from T1 to T2. So here is temperature T1 and here is temperature T2 and varies linearly. This means if the temperature is here T1 I can find what is the temperature here. Linear means graph is linear. So you have point A here and you have point B, so temperature is varying linearly, so T1 to T2, if I make a graph, this is uh, distance, this is uh, temperature. So this is the meaning of linearity. So this I am plotting distance and this side I am plotting temperature on the y axis, this graph will look linear. So what is the temperature we can find, so let us say from here a distance x what will be the temperature? So you see here I have a temperature is T1 so let us say temperature at any distance x T will be T1 plus what is the difference T2 minus T1 divided by L into x. So this is the temperature at a distance x from A. Are you getting or not? Because what is the difference T2 minus T1? What is the dis difference per unit T2 minus T1 by L? What is the total difference in x length t2 minus t1 by l into x? So what is the temperature difference plus initial temperature? Now the question says, so let us say I have here this distance is dx. So velocity of sound propagates and it is given by, velocity is given by alpha times under root t. Everybody knows velocity is under root of temperature, so proportional of under root of temperature. So what is the time required for a sound wave to travel from A to B? So time required from traveling of a sound wave from A to B. So T A B have to find it out. So give me the expression, everybody knows. Let us wait for some time. If you want you can also find temperature T at a distance x using this graph. So in that case difference slope will be T2 minus T1 by L. So let us say I can use this graph also. So if I measuring distance x from here. So uh, this is the slope. Let us say I am measuring this distance from here. So this distance is x. The here I have a temperature T1, here I have T2 and this length is L so slope will be T2 minus T1 by L so M is slope is change in temperature that is by 2 minus by 1 that is T2 minus T1 by L so this is the slope now here I have temperature T1 so T1 plus so what will this value at a distance x what will be the distance temperature T this will be T1 plus this value so slope into this distance this will give you this value, this value so what will the temperature here <laughs> t1 plus this value and this value is nothing but t2 minus t1 by l into x so from here also you can get the temperature here at distance x that is t1 plus t2 minus t1 by l into x same thing but more good way to see in this way because temperature varies linearly now let us find time how will you find now I can assume at this distance velocity is given by alpha t and temperature I can assume for this small distance dx temperature is almost constant. So if the temperature is almost constant so I can find temperature dt time is 
distance dx divided by velocity and velocity is given by uh, dx divided by alpha root t are you getting now t is given by this expression so dt is equals to dx divided by alpha root t and t is given by this expression t1 plus t2 minus t1 by l into x so this is t1 plus t2 minus t1 by l into x now I have to integrate this from 0 to L and this side 0 to T. This integration I have to solve. So this side we have T and this is simply dx by 1 by alpha is common. dx by root over T1 plus T2 minus T1 by L into X. This integration we have to do. So let us do this integration. So this is a plus bx form. So I will have t is equals to 1 by alpha and root over 1 plus bx. How will you solve this one? How will you do this integration? Let us do some substitution. So what I am going to do is to do this integration I am going to do some substitution. What substitution I am going to do is so let us put this value as z. So I am going to put t1 plus t2 minus t1 by l into x. This is equals to z. So what I will have if I differentiate this side dt differentiation t1 of differentiation of t1 is 0 t2 minus t1 by l differentiation of x is dx this is equals to dz. Are you getting? Now uh, basically this integration and a form of dx. Now I am going to check change this integration in substituted form. So what I will have, so this side I will have t, this is equals to 1 by alpha. Now this is 1 by under root z because the lower term all term is z. So 1 by root z and this is dx is dz by dz into l divided by t2 minus t1. Are you getting? So you see from here dx is what? dz into l divided by t2 minus t1. Now doing this integration is quite easy. So t is 1 by alpha l by t2 minus t1 and dz and root z, z to the power minus 1 by 2 dz. And z to the power minus 1 by 2 everybody knows. z to the power plus 1 by 2 divided by 1 by 2. So z to the power 1 by 2 divided by 1 by 2. So you will have t is equals to 1 by alpha l by t2 minus t1. And this is let us back to pavilion. So 2 goes up. So we will have 2 by alpha. And let us go back to the pavilion. z is, so let us plug the value of z. You see your copy. z is nothing but t1 plus t2 minus t1 by l into x. I now put the limit. What was the limit of integration? So 0 to L. Now let us plug the integration limit. So 2 by alpha. This will be, let us take common T2, L by T2 minus T1 also. So let us take this also common. I will have integration limit over the goes here because X is only variable. So you will have, when X is equal to L, so this LL goes out. So T2 minus T1, so you will have only under root T2. You verify yourself. When x is equal to 0, you will have only under root t1. So this is minus under root t1. Are you getting? So, if you want, you can also write 2 by alpha L by t2 minus t1 can be written as a plus b into a minus b. So this is a plus b into a minus b. Uh, t2 under root t2 minus under root t1. And the top you have under root t2 minus under root t1. So if you cancel this term under root t2 minus t1, are you getting or not? So you will have t is equals to 2l by alpha under root t1 plus under root t2. So this is the required time you will have a sound wave to reach from A to B. I think all of you are able to understand this one.
So what we have done in this problem? In this problem, question says temperature varies linearly. So first my target is to find temperature as a function of x. And after that, I have assumed that at a distance x, temperature is almost constant, t. So the velocity is almost constant for a small length dx. So I can find dt. So dt is equals to dx divided by v. Because dx is very small, I can assume for that small distance dx, velocity almost remains constant. And now everything is just mathematics. If you integrate this one, both sides, from x0 to l, time goes from 0 to t, you will get the answer. So only important point in this question you have, you see you, you, this temperature varies linearly, so you have to find temperature as a function of x. Somebody can say it's temperature vary uh, as a function of x square. In that case you will not have t, t, to, t is equals to t1 plus t2 minus t1 by l into x. In that case you will have a different function, you can find it out yourself. Second important point we have in this question is, at a distance x, for a small distance dx, I can assume the velocity is constant, and that constant velocity is, if I divide that constant velocity dx by v, I will get the dt time, and now I have to integrate. This is the one important point we have in the question. Now you can always remember, temperature, velocity of sound varies with under root of temperature. This is a good idea to remember this result. I think all of you have copied this one. And rest of this mathematics, if you have learned substitution method of integration, that's fine. Even if you does not know substitution method, method of integration, we have done enough exercise here. Now we will discuss the next problem. Let us go for the next problem. 